On to this now, the JC and Gulu Incorporated Artinis hosted a dialogue on traditional leadership, land administration and the role of the state and courts in the country at the Hilton Hotel in Santon earlier today. The discussion included those with the knowledge of security, traditional authority and leadership, spirituality, human rights related issues as well as the governance of traditional leadership. Our news reporter, Zweli Banzi Mazibugo, was there and he found this report. Regarding the interdict application put forward by the Royal Zulu Kingdom family, the dialogue on traditional leadership, land administration and the role of the state and the courts in South Africa was held today at the Hilton Hotel in Senton. The dialogue looked at issues that are very critical in the country. The parties are echoing the royal family's position that there is a gap in South Africa's laws for resolving traditional leadership disputes as well as a gap for expediting land restoration in this country. The Republic of South Africa is actually um, a theft. Uh, why? Because even the UN in 1974 uh, articulated uh, that uh, the Republic of South Africa is crime against humanity, which then means that, uh, you know, in 1994, we're not supposed to continue with the Republic of South Africa. It was supposed to be destroyed and, uh, you know, re, you know, um, um, uh, introduce, of course, as a governing system because it's a tried and tested governing system of the continent. So the Khoisan Traditional Leadership Act is the legislation that um, Advocate Matula was referring to, which basically only deals with the procedure. It does not deal with the substance. And all legislation that concerns leadership has decided, I don't know whether this was properly designed in order to not to deal with the real issues, but what we have observed is that they are only concerned with the procedure and not the substance. Meanwhile, political analyst Sipo Masejo gave us his view on the whole issue regarding the land situation which is currently facing the country. The issue of the land to be redistributed to the rightful owners, which is predominantly black people, is welcome. Um, the majority of this land still belongs in the hands of the white people particularly the, the land that is prime land in, in, in urban centers. Um, the majority of the rural land belongs to mostly the kings and kingships and so on, which is, which is fine, but I think that this conversation, ideally, I think it should speed up the process. For Soweto TV News, I am Zulibanzi Mazibugo.